Today we're playing Exit the Game, the Orient Express. Based, uh, it's based off of the novel uh, by Agatha Christie. Ah, uh, where is instructions? Are I these... think the whole thing is the instructions. Oh, okay. What's the game about? The year is 1905 on the luxurious Orient Express. One morning, the body of the passenger Edgar Ratchington, who is traveling alone, is discovered. No clues whatsoever who committed it. All the other passengers have a sound alibi. Uh, no one admits to even knowing Mr. Ratchington. Just before we go on, like... I know it's a mystery book and everything, but I feel like in real life, if there was a murder on a train, and, and, like... Oh, yeah, the, <laughs> I, I just, feel like they wouldn't keep going. Like, where would you go? Where do you go? Like, you're yeah. stuck on the train. There's a bunch of these exit games. There's, like, Haunted House exit, um, fucking asshole exit. And basically the goal of the game is it's basically an escape room where you got a bunch of puzzles and shit that you have to solve to exit at a location you're trapped in. So if you find his notebook and realize that he must have known he was going to be murdered that night and was about to solve the case. Oh wait, no. There was a, a detective on board who knew about the murder, was about to solve the case, and then was also murdered. So that's Just conveniently... just Okay, so we gotta use his... First of all, what kind what? of fucking detective are you? You get murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must have not been <laughs> close to solving it if he got fucking murdered. Work together to solve all the riddles surrounding like, this mysterious you, wait, 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 wait. and you deliver imagine, their like, culprit to the police. Can you imagine like, yes, and the murder is you. <laughs> <laughs> Until them, leave them untouched in the box. So this means the murderer and the detective were on the same train at the same time and the murderer was just sitting there writing fucking riddles. <laughs> and the detective still got You will never find out my riddles. I Your guess goal is to solve the murder die. case together in the shortest possible time. That would definitely be easier if not for the fact that every lock in the train is secured with a riddle. So yeah, the murderer went around <laughs> setting up riddles for- How do you lock a door with a riddle? <laughs> now it says to just time yourself and see how fast you can do it. But I think it's more interesting if we set a timer and if we don't figure it out in time, we fucking fail. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. I think that's more interesting. So let's do that. We got this, Nova. High five. Our... High five, Nova. Okay, I guess the yeah. timer starts <laughs> now. We are on the Orient Express. Do, 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 I don't know what the fuck. Oh, sweet Jesus. Fuck, so this is why the detective died, shit. We left the Sophia train and are now on our way to the city of Constantinople. Murder. The murderer of Ratchington cannot have gotten off the train. Well, no shit. He's on the Orient Express. The murderer is on the train. Oh, okay. Uh, it would be shitty for my investigation if someone left the train. Does it really say shitty? No. Oh. Um, Ratchington was murdered within a small radius of his cabin at 10 p.m. last night. All of them seem to have an alibi. Using my keen reasoning abilities, I will try to deduce how it came to be that the victim was slain last night. Uh, I'll speak again with our conductor. He knows every inch of the train from rear to front, and he felt things weren't right last night. Uh, given the lack of clues, I'll also sniff around in the other passengers' cabins. I will try to disprove an alibi and arrest the culprit. One of the passengers must be lying. Uh, I will find the killer. Yeah, good luck with that fucking murdered bitch. <laughs> Riddle card in. Is that what... Oh. It said if you find one in an illustration or something, then you so we have to. Oh, so maybe we should. Okay. Oh, they're all in order. Great. Yeah, they're all in order. Okay. Oh fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's perfect. Great fucking riddles. Ah, do the. This is what, what all the little white girls do. They do that thing, right? That does something. It's just numbers and pictures of trolley trains. Yeah. Oh, there's a illustration. Is it? Will that help you? There's a. I don't know. A blue no, car, a red car, and a yellow car, and those are train cars. Okay. Yes, that means <laughs> a something. That means a thing. We're gonna fucking. Are you supposed to cut these? Is that what the scissors are? Maybe. 
1908 6. Yeah, look at that. Let me. There's a star on the ground here. I'm just going to circle things that might be important. Let me get a marker and see. When in doubt, circle. Well, this is the riddles that people were leaving behind. I can see why maybe. Yeah, I can see why you didn't figure it out. Maybe we were talking too much <laughs> shit about them. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, wait. Okay. What, what do we do with that? What's the guy? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So play with that. Play. <laughs> These are all the alibis. She said she was playing poker. Uh, he, uh, this fucker was dining in the dining car. This motherfucker is blind. Keep that in mind. If this fucker starts uh, saying you can see shit, that's the problem. Wait, wait, wait. Who is blind? Uh, Colonel Arbuthiet. Ah. Uh. Don't know. Did you think he solved the murder already? Yeah. So, no, I thought you. I, th I missed what you said. I thought you said the killer's blind. I'm like, and the killer's fucking blind. Of course he's That's blind. The people. She was also playing poker. There were supposedly three poker players. So if someone else says they were playing poker, they're fucking lying. He was playing poker. How many fucking people were playing poker? Look, man, it was a very, what else are you gonna do on a train, man? I don't, I'm just saying. Oh, this bitch shares an apartment. It's a compartment, sorry, not an apartment. You're learning all the suspects? Yes. That's great. I, I don't I don't think this fits with whatever, I don't know. I know Diamond. Oh, this is where everyone Diamond, was yes. playing. Oh, shit, there was a lady here. See, because one of the cups had has a big fucking lipstick uh -huh. on it. So... One of these bitches is lying. I mean, it's possible dun, one of dun, them wasn't. Dun. It's possible one of them just wasn't. Yeah, it's very sexist. sexist. And I think we're on our own now. Great. Hold on, let me look through okay, it here. Okay, look through it. I'll let try and find it. Shit. It's an ugly old train. Oh, so, okay. I think every shape corresponds to a certain room because that is for the kitchen, it says. The kitchen, and then it has this little diamond shape. Well, it's going. The blue card, red card, yellow card, and then it has an arrow going down. So this is supposed to be on top of the red one. And then the yellow one's supposed to be under the red one. See? Because look, it has this little arrow oh, going. Oh, blue goes first. Okay. Wow, a game that you can cut up. That's fun. Yeah, remember the last time we did that? Oh, that's smart. <laughs> that's smart. Somehow, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Yes. That means something. Mm. And we can't move. So basically we're like technically stuck on this picture. And yeah, then we move on we're to stuck in the kitchen. I guess we could look at these, but I don't know what we would get from them. This is hard. Can I see it after you're done? Yeah, I guess so. Because I believe something has to be up with this clock, but I don't know what. Yes, Nova, exactly. That means nothing to me. No, maybe stack them on the thing? I don't know. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Should I just get the solution? No, we, we got this. We can. I we... kind of want to just get it so we can at least get a feel for the game. And... Fine. Put card in to four strips. You only need the three strips. Wait, I fucking figured it out. What? It's 462. Like the way with that? Like how this is? Yeah. Okay. It's 16, the answer. Because you do that, that, and that, and it's 462. So we did figure it out. I'm, I, you know what? I'm not counting this as a cheat because we fucking figured it out, but we didn't know that we got it right. So, bitch in the comments. <laughs> you are able to open um, the kitchen door. Yes. The dining card steward is sitting on a chair, bounced and gagged. Jeez. Bound and gagged. Holy shit. You find riddle cards. G and O. Uh, take these roll cards out of the stack and look at them. Okay, now G we're on a G and O. Yeah. Fucking go. Okay, <laughs> things are actually happening now. I cannot say who did this to me. I was knocked out by a blow to the back of the head. Oh, At the time of the crime, there was only one single guest in the dining car. Unfortunately, I can't recall who it was. Uh, but one thing I can say for sure, he was not the one who hit me and tied him up. Oh shit, so someone... The murderer is not the one who just tied this dude up. 
If you simply add, you'll surely fail. Just summing up is wrong. Clockwise spins a happier tale. Counter a sadder song. Fucking riddles, man. I think I figured out this one. You did? I might have. You don't see any colors like this, right? Yellow, orange, and red somewhere? Yeah. I'm saying on, like, the things you open. Oh, the fucking, um, clocks. Here. Oh. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to start over. Can we switch? What? <laughs> uh, well, you've been trying to solve that one. I've been trying to solve this one. Okay. So what am I solving here? We have 45 minutes left. That can't be his fucking name. Achilles Pussot. Right? Yeah, yeah. Really you su subjected the deck of cards from the smoking cards. Clockwise spins a happier tale. It's fucking... Oh my god, it's supposed to be counterclockwise. Counter a sadder song. <sighs> Fuck you, game. Step right up. Free tickets for murderers and other evildoers available right here from our super sleuths. Unfortunately, the code is not correct. What? Fucking what? assholes. How did you get this wrong, Nathan? What the fuck? It says counter... Shit. Whatever, man. I thought I was gonna figure it out. I like how the audience can't see none of what we're fucking doing. Five? Doing. Now I can open car six, compartment two. Give me the riddle card R. What did you do? Riddle card R. How did you do that? I don't know. We would be terrible at an actual escape room. An empty suitcase. Funny, this suitcase isn't actually supposed to be empty. Great. That's fucking riddle card R. B6, A5. What are all these weird. Oh, riddle card C. There once was a royal couple, a loving king and queen, but they could not get together with a partial solution between them. 19th century folk song. This padlock has card numbers on it. So, hearts, uh, spades, and the leaf one. 24. We'll never solve the case this way. Fuck off. Why does it gotta be snarky? I'm trying my best game. Show me 10! Things like this we may have to call- if things continue like this we may have to call another investigator. We're trying! I it's 1908! I don't appreciate this snark. I don't appreciate your tone. Eight. Let's try eight. Someone was murdered here. Make a little effort. <laughs> Fucking hell. I have no idea. Oh, H. 248. Or 428 or something else. So it may be right. 21. The vanity case springs open. Riddle cards E and T were outside. Or inside. Fucking did it. E. It was, you had to look for all the cards in between a king and a queen. Oh. Evan is number I like two. how Nova's just having a fucking blast in the background. Italian wins chess championship. I don't know why it's important that he's Italian. <laughs> two up show in Amsterdam. England's most costly cigar is one in poker game. Oh, that fucker, he wasn't paid in cash. He must have been paid in... Cigarettes. You got paid in cigarettes, man? That sounds yeah. like a bad deal. Found anything on there? I don't know. I was folding it. It looks like it goes together, but I guess not. Let me see. To remove any piece from this page, the advice is not so sage. I'm going to do plate A. A, 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 A. A, 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 A. A, 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 A. So, yeah. Why do you always want to do these late at night? <laughs> it's not that late. Oh, well, now it's late. We've been playing for so fucking long. Oh, well, I think I got this by accident, but, uh... The hat box is now open. That's what this is, right? It's a hat box. I think, yes. Okay. So, F, K, and N. I was just fucking guessing. <laughs> but, uh, hey, you know, 
First lesson as detectives, if you get it right, you get it right, boys. When nothing seems correct, although your intellect says that it cannot be, then look at page three. Try to meet your goal, a way to fill the hole. And then I got this one, it has the moon sign. And then this is probably what that map is about because it has the different places on here. And this one says, look at page three, look for some hole. A way to fill the hole. When nothing seems correct, nothing is in quotes. Although your intellect says it cannot be, look at page three, try to meet your new goal. A way to fill the hole. Maybe card number eight and fill in the zero, but I don't know what that would do. What do you want to look at page I don't three? Get, it tells me to look at page three, so I'm gonna look at page three. Ugh. This motherfucker had multiple people in his thing. Oh, moon. Look at page 11 for me. Wait, I was just trying to figure this out. So this is the logo. The, the tickets all have numbers on. Look at page three again. Keep looking. Uh, one seven nine. What fucking puzzle are we on? Moon. Dude. Huh? Oh. A hole. Uh, let me see that. Wait a minute. Oh, la la. Voila. It's number nine. Yeah, number see, I knew. Lodge. I knew we were supposed to make the logo. I can't believe we didn't notice that shit was on the back. This fucking killer, man. What, you, can't, you gotta make it hard on him. Why? Even his fucking riddles all over the place. Well, he is trying not to get caught in anything. I guess, but like, what, you couldn't, like, I don't know, just made it really fucking hard to figure you out? Like, why did you gotta make it riddles specifically? This guy was standing, staying with, uh, Mary. Because one of the cards is a personal message from M.O. And the only one with those initials is Mary Overwood or whatever her fucking name was. The evening and night where you with you were wonderful. M O. Yeah, M O. Who's? So somebody was fucking. Yeah. Uh, fucking uh, Flea Doe's was fucking uh, Who's Mary Ovenham. Oh, sir, you're supposed to make like flaps. Oh, of course. Dang. Yes, I, I, I remember science classes with dotted lines mean. Yeah. <laughs> so the alphabet's a little out of order, but oh, you know. Fuck. Let me fix it real quick. How much time we have left? 17 minutes. <laughs> wow. We spent too much goddamn time lollygagging. Oh, connect from A to B, and then. B, or A to A, finish the A path, and then see what number that corresponds to, and then do it for B and C, and that should give you a three-digit code. You're folding this one, this one, this one? Mm -hmm. That's two. So now finish B. Uh, fucking hell. We have 15 minutes. We're detectives. Code may be right. Wait, what are we? What are we, the fuck? Oh, this one. Uh, it's the little fucking purse thing. Four. You're going to open the jewelry box. Open car uh, riddle cards A and U. The alphabet be, be out of order. A. What is this? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. This one just says C on it. Or you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> what the fuck? Draw the entire path, but not here and not diagonally. And then there, what's there left for you to do? Look at that. I have no idea what that means. And what's left?
code may be right. Where's the fucking thing? Where is it? What? The thing we've been trying to solve. Where's the bitch with the luggage? We haven't opened this one yet. Where is it? I don't know which one you're talking about. The one with the lipstick. The one we're trying to solve. Motherfucker. You gotta be fucking kidding me. We didn't come this far. What do you mean? You sure you didn't, like... I don't have it. Where did it go? Hold up, pause the timer. This is some BS coming at the end. This murderer is not getting away because we lost a fucking piece of paper. You lost a piece of paper. How did I lose it? Because you were the last one to have it. How was I, was I the last one to have it? It's the dumb bitch. It's over here, you put it on the keyboard. Why did I put it on the fucking keyboard? Restart the timer. <laughs> Uh, we have nine and a half minutes. Car four compartment two, the final suspect. Shit, there's so much shit on the table now. He's dead. X, we're getting so close. Wait, you find Ex Inspector Achilles Pusat. Pus I don't fucking know. Pusso has been uh, rendered unconscious, probably with knockout drops. What's he mumbling in his sleep? That in addition to the murderer, there's another kleptomaniac, maniacal person on the train who ripped off another passenger while the murder was happening. What a seedy alibi, but an alibi another, ne uh, nevertheless. It's high time we opened the door to the radio room and reported the perpetrator to the authorities. Soon we'll be in Constantinople. We have to send the radio message as quickly as possible. You're able to open the door to the radio room using this code. Riddle card S. It's high time to compare the alibis. Which person is lying likes a valid alibi for the time of the crime? No. Okay, that one out. Oh, sweet fuck. First digit, join the two in such a way that the two red lines remain visible. Join the two blue lines. And then what's this? Such a way that the two red lines remain visible. To do like, I want to do like the fucking Mad Magazine. I don't know why that's what I thought of. Yeah, I feel like those are before your time, but. The first number of the radio message is the train car number of the murderer. The train car number of the murderer. Man, they put that down. That's that's impressive. They got a message out of that. Yeah. Luggage rack B of the murderer. So wait. So eight. So wait. Right. We gotta look and see who was lying and then determine. I guess it's this guy eight. And then what is what does it say? The first number is the train car number of the murderer. Fuck. We're running out of time. God damn it. I'm so confused. Catch me up to speed here. Someone lied about their alibi. We gotta make sure who it is. So either she's lying, Hector, or Mary, because they're the only ones playing poker. Maybe this lady, she, this, says, this is her sleeping pills. 29. Wait. I think I solved it. Hopefully. Wait, which, uh, which compartment is Mary Oven Ham? Oh, cart three. Pardon me. I've come up with my final answer. It's 29. It says if we get this wrong, we have to turn over riddle card P. And considering we have two and a half minutes left, I think 29 is the best guess we're gonna get. 29, after an hour or so, Yeah. the Orient Express arrives at the Constantinople Constantinople train station. The police are already waiting on the platform. Apprehend Countess. What? Adrinsky? The old lady killed is the murderer? Says she was playing poker in the smoking car with two gentlemen. There was one, there was only one lady. So
I'm fat and She dumb. and Ratchington used to be a couple, but she cheated on her with an up-and-coming young crime novel writer. writer. We, we won. We succeeded, actually. Sort of, yes. I, I, I didn't understand half of it, but yes. We used a lot of hints. I wasn't even paying attention to the actual murder mystery. I was just focused on solving the clues and riddles and shit, and I think yeah. that's what helped. Thank you all for watching. If any of you are still watching, Christian is taking my temperature right now. Why do you have it in Celsius? What are you, fucking Canadian? I can't fucking, I don't even know how to turn it to Fahrenheit, that's why. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Fucker, bye. Oh, fuck.